Today's subject is bad bookmakers. It's about their cheating and immoral practice. This is part of a series where we're going to also cover some of the options what you can do. I'm Tony from Betting Analyst. Let's crack on with this. The first thing I want to mention is modern day bookmakers are pretty useless. All these online companies, they just want to ban you and stop you betting if you are winning. However, losers are well catered for. So if you are an habitual loser, you shouldn't have any problems what I'm about to mention. What I would also like to say is that the Gambling Commission, the UK Gambling Commission and the MGA in Malta, you can just forget them. They're unfit for purpose. They are not there for the consumer. They pretend to be, but they're there just for the government to raise taxes. Now, we can get money even from payment, should I say, from bad bookmakers. So listen to what I'm about to tell you. We're going to cover 10 of the worst today. Let's crack on with them. So the first one we want to mention is one expert. This Russian operator, they steal everything. They don't just take from you, the punter. They also steal data rights. And that's how they lure customers to go onto their page. You see, you can watch all the games there. You can bet with them. You get the best odds. You just don't get paid. Go onto the Google search engine and you'll find that 1.3 billion, not million, 1.3 billion searches took place for the word scam bookie. That's all directed at one expert. The parent company went bankrupt last year, or at least they declared bankruptcy because they didn't want to pay people out. And the owners are wanted in Russia they wanted in the UK. If they cross an airport, the chances are they're going to get picked up. But they're still in hiding, in a safe environment, in Cyprus. The next one I want to mention is Daffabet. Now, this is one probably wouldn't jump to to you. You think of yourself, okay, these are sponsors of you know football teams like uh, West Ham, and they, they you know they're pretty well known, but. They are very much focused on the grey market, or should I even say the black market? Like China was massive for them. And the reason for that is they know that people in China can't complain. They've got no, you know, if it's if betting's illegal there, who do you go to? Now they're concentrating a lot on India because they know that, you know, they can complain all they like, they're not gonna pay. Now they do have a UK license and they're even problematic to people within the UK when they start uh, wanting to pay out, if they're winners, that is. Um, I can tell you it took us four months to get one person paid and it was such a minimal amount and it was just about to go to the courts, but they settled. So be aware of them. Uh, same bet. They're not regulated, they're not licensed. They always work through agents and they do offer the agents a good share a revenue share if you know they're on board now the problem is with sing bet is they cancel a lot of bets after the game so your team might have won and then all of a sudden you might find out you've not been paid and it's a standard practice with these people now for some reason the other agents still support them uh, but they do give out a big warning you know, stay clear of Singbet if you are not really understanding what the Asian market's all about, yeah? Um, the next one is uh, Planet Win 365. Now, let me just tell you, Planet Win 365, for me, are probably one of the dirtiest bookmakers on the planet. Uh, they're Italian focused, you probably don't know them, licensed in Malta, um, founded in Austria. They were wanted uh, for money laundering. Uh, they had big connections to the mafia. This is the old company. Uh, you can see that on the screen. Um, this company are very awkward. They, when we've had winning clients who've gone to collect uh, payments from them, honestly, it's been six or seven months before they've even got to the stage where they've thought about settling. In some cases, they haven't even settled. And if you go to the Malta Gaming Authority, you're not going to get any help whatsoever. So, you know, you are pretty limited to what you can do with a company like this. Um, 
Also, if you go and Google them, you'll find out that uh, they were wanted for uh, uh, tax fraud of 124 million. Now they say that all the owners have been changed since then, the company's been changed around, but you know, I mean, old dogs, what can you say? Um, Unibet, well, I guess you didn't expect this one to appear on the list. Unibet, in my opinion, are the biggest hypocrites of the lot, right? Buy players for players, that's their motto. It should be buy hypocrites for losers. If you are losing, they will look after you well. You'll get paid whenever you, you, know, you ask for a payment, they'll settle, no problem whatsoever. But the second that you show a little bit of knowledge, your account is closed. They limit faster than any other bookmaker, or at least right up there with the other bookmakers. Um, the verification process, well, honestly, it's worse than lining up for a COVID jab. The thing is, Unibet, what I don't like about them is that they promise a lot, but they don't deliver. Their advertising is all false and I wouldn't trust them. BWIN, absolutely useless. Don't trust, don't play, stay away. This company started, they were one of the original internet founders. They started a scum and they've taken that word to a new level. Not only do they limit fast, they refuse to pay or very slow pay. If you go to Trustpilot, you'll see 87% of the comments are bad about this company. All I can say is, when Teufelbergner and Bodner were arrested in France for taking bets from French citizens, I was as happy as pig in shit. These people really deserved it. Don't trust them. If you are working with them, if you are betting with them, I can only think you're losing money. Skybet. I've never personally had issues with Skybet, but we do receive a lot of complaints about them. Now, they do have a poor reputation, we'll give them, give them that. They've screwed every affiliate going. Now, you could argue that affiliates are also immoral. Um, they withhold payment for any reason possible. They spam self-excluded people and they basically spend the whole day grooming, looking for, to bring the losers back on board, get them putting more money in the system, losing, losing, losing. And then of course, winners like ourselves, you win a couple hundred quid and they close your account. Paddy Power. Paddy Power, in my opinion, are probably one of the most useless bookmakers around. They have that same principle as Ryanair, you know, advertise heavily, make people believe in what they're saying, and they will light up. But unlike Ryanair, this company offer absolutely no value whatsoever. Big ads, no substance. They're purely focusing on mug punters. If you are not a proven mug punter, you are not going to have an account with these people, unless of course it's for the exchange, but that's a different story. They ban quick and their reviews are terrible. Stay away from them. 888 Sport. The owner is a former dentist, or the founder should I say, obviously now they're floated. Um, he was always in the extraction business. As you know, dentists don't have the best reputation for uh, being uh, fair with the customers. You go with the, uh, you know, you need an implant or you've got a bad tooth and they can screw the hell out of you. And he's just sort of taken that and brought it into bookmaking. Um, this company don't pay. They are looking through um, social media for people who are following tipsters. So if there are tipsters out there and then they will write it into the system. And if somebody seems to be betting that, they will get stopped. The slow pay, no pay. The website is horrible. It will uh, lock you out after 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know whether that was just when we were doing the sort of uh, test phase, but we get tons and tons of complaints about 8-8 bed. Stay away from them. 
And the last one we want to mention is Betway. The founder is uh, South African, very bad reputation, not trusted by anybody. Uh, they had a fine for 11.4 million for actually taking bets from somebody who stole the money to bet with them. And I mean, you know, without sort of alarm bells, you win 50 pounds from them, the alarm bells go, this guy lost 6 million and uh, they allow him to bet further. Betway are really horrible people. They also have this thing where they'll give you a free bet if you give them a positive review. But go and have a look on Trustpilot or any other website, you will see more complaints about this company than you will see positive reviews. So people are not taking up the free bet offer, they would rather complain. But before we sort of clock off on this video, I want to just say if you have issues with the bookmakers, to just drop a message below and uh, let's see if we can do something. Um, obviously, you know, it's quite difficult to get paid uh, nowadays. Uh, but if you're doing things right by the book, like I mentioned before, and you're in a proper regulated uh, zone, you should always get paid. The courts will favor you every time. Uh, the next video, we're going to uh, cover 10 bookmakers, uh, leisure bookmakers that we've just covered. We've covered them with multiple betting accounts and we're going to tell you the results of them. That's a very important one. That one's coming straight after this. Um, yes, uh, watch our other videos for a bit of education and to learn how to bet and to beat the system. If you do that, you can also consider our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, if you like the type of video, give us a like, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll uh, see you soon. So take care for now. Bye bye.